Yo, what's going on, guys? This is David. Welcome back to the channel. As always, remember to like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I really appreciate it. Helps the channel grow. And as always, I'm not a financial advisor, so do your own research. I am not a financial advisor. But hey, I wanted to update you guys, man. I have this Robinhood portfolio that, you know, I haven't talked about it in a little while, but I wanted to t uh, check back in on it just to give you guys an update of where I'm at. This was a portfolio that, you know, I'm building up still. It's a smaller portfolio, but, I, you know, it's also a portfolio that I've been trading options in. And I just wanted to kind of, you know, it's the kind of self-teaching myself how to trade options and you know want to add another arsenal to my to my list right you know i think if i can master the options game or at least get good at it that'll take me to a whole nother level as far as uh, investing is concerned but you know sometimes you just got to be a little realistic as well so uh with these options it's tricky man it's hard to learn you know, I consider myself a rookie options trader and, you know, you take some ups and downs. And I've definitely I've had a few ups, but I've had a lot of downs as well. So, you know, I had to take a step back from trading options to kind of get my footing together in this particular portfolio. So, you know, I'm going to uh, bring it up and, you know, show you guys firsthand, you know, just some of the setbacks. And, you know, you kind of kind of have to get back to some of the basics of what you're known for and what you're able to do. So let's just enough of the talking let's just get right into it here uh, this is the one portfolio where i am fully transparent you know i don't mind showing you guys so let's open it up here boom here you go total uh and, you know it looks a lot better if it says 5100 but right now it's 5099.85 so and it's uh, it's live right now because I, I I do have crypto in this portfolio, so you're gonna see constant updates uh, in regards to this account as we speak. Um, but <clears throat> going back to the options is what I was saying. I'm taking a step back from options, and because it, you know it, I took some losses. Right, I took some losses mainly because of my option strategy and. Well, my mindset, basically, you know, my mind is, um, my mindset is I'm a long-term trader, man. I'm a long-term trader. I buy and hold positions and that's what I'm, I'm used to doing. So going, being in and out of positions as far as options, it's, it's tough for me. I'm not afraid to admit that it's, it's extremely tough. You know, I'm, I'm learning how to risk management, stop losses and things like that. Uh, you get kind of frustrated when you have a, a option that hits your stop loss and then it takes off. You know what I mean? It pulls back, hits your stop loss, then it takes off. But you didn't already got kicked out of the trade. So, you know, that's that's part of the ups and downs of learning how to how to trade options. I, it took me years to learn um, to get a strategy down to even building a long term portfolio. Right. So, you know, a couple of bumps in the road on options is not going to stop me. But I do. I did have to take a step back. But let's just take a look and see uh, how the portfolio has been going. Um, as you see, down $9 today over the last week. Over the last week, we are up uh, $98, 1.97%. Over the last month, we are up $53. But here's the thing right here. Let's when we start looking at the last three months. Boom, we're down 9%, $519. And year to date, we are down over a thousand dollars down 17 percent right um you know over the last year we're down seven percent in all time we are up 33 percent so even over the even though we had some tough times over the last uh three months and year to date overall we're still doing extremely well in this portfolio right so like I said, this has some ups and downs in regards to the options trading, um, because like I said, it's, it's a learning process. It's a learning curve. So, you know, I just take a step back to kind of reevaluate. And then, you know, eventually I'm going to jump back in and, you know, we're going to get back to the business because we're not, you know, we're not quitters. 
uh, at all. But you know, it's, it's, I'm I'm very strategic. You know, if something's not working, you step back, you reevaluate, and then you you know develop a plan of action. But let's just take a look at what we have now in the portfolio. And as you see, we have our crypto here, Ethereum, uh, Bitcoin, and some Doge. But let's just let's just take a look and see how we've done with our Ethereum. And you see total return in this book in the i3 it was 23 not bad not bad not bad at all we go back bitcoin total return 74 percent not bad at all i'll take that and go to our doge which i'm really i really just started back this doge position so i'm probably look around break break equal yeah down two percent so i just really started this back and you know i don't know what doge is going to do but you know i invest a little bit in it's not it's not nothing that's going to hurt me right now uh but here's my long-term stock positions i'm down to four positions like i said this is my bread and butter you know i buy and hold and you know for the long term uh you see et we have 78 shares vti we have three and a half shares qqm 3.31 shares in main 17 shares so what i'm doing now what i want to do is kind of take a step back from the options and just build up my base right my base are always going to be my stocks and my etfs so what i want to do is build up my vti position build up my qqm position so they can be more of a foundation of this portfolio um uh, best case scenario i would want to have 10 shares of eti 10 shares of qqqm but you know and that's going to happen but it's going to take some time it's going to take some time um so you know you just kind of have to be patient but i want to make sure that base is strong when i do get back into the options you know it's, it's it'll be smaller losses right uh, like i said i'm used to having a solid portfolio of etfs and stocks that kind of that kind of uh, help manage the risk if I take a chance on something that's more risky, right? So let's just see ET. Let's just take a look at how we perform in these uh, in this on these positions. There we go, fifty one hundred. Let's stay there. Uh, ET. We we uh, overall we're up nineteen percent, right? Not bad at all. As you see, we have a cost base of $13.62. ET is currently trading at $16.22 at the time of this uh, video. And if we go back, let's look at our VTI. Three and a half shares. We are up overall 17%. Cost basis of $239.03. VTI is currently trading at $281. That's what I like to see like i said I'm a, I'm a buy and hold uh investor that's my mindset but just trying to add more to what i do so you hear me talk about dividends you hear me talk about cover calls so it's it's a lot of ways to skin a cat in this investing game and don't limit yourself to not being not wanting to learn something new i you know i i just that's just not my thing um so what is what we at um qqqm right we're up 19 percent cost basis 167 dollars and eight cents qqq is currently trading at 199 dollars and 45 cents and then we have maine maine is we have we are up 19 percent on maine total Cost base is $41.95. Maine is currently trading at $49.98. Maine does pay a monthly dividend, so we're also collecting that dividend. And we have a special dividend that's pending right now that we're going to get next week. Um, so we already received one dividend this month already. But every quarter, it does a special dividend, and that's what we're going to get here. So let's go back here. So yeah, that's an update on the the Robinhood portfolio uh, and how we build this is one of my the best features I like about Robinhood is just that reoccurring investment so that's how it, you see what we're doing here 
we set up our reoccurring investments to just keep building over time. VTI, we're investing uh, every week, $10 a week. Uh, QQQM, we're investing $5 every week. And then you'll see a couple of that may be on bi-weekly. Everything else, I believe, is bi-weekly. That we're investing $5 here, $5 there. But VTI is a uh, VTI is the focus right now. And QQQ, QQQM is also the focus. And we want to, like I said, build that foundation up so that we um you know it, it allows us to take on a little bit more risk when we have a solid foundation when you building a portfolio have that solid foundation first before you start doing anything else and that's usually how i set up my portfolios anyway so you know that's nothing new that's nothing new really i just needed to do that for this portfolio but like i said it's a smaller portfolio one that we're building up over time. So we're just going to do it the right way. So that's what we're doing now. We're taking a slightly step back from trading options and we want to focus on building up the portfolio uh, with our ETFs and our stocks. We're going to keep it small, four positions. And um, if anything, I may, if I add another stock, that's fine. Or add another ETF, that's fine. But that's just how, that's how we're going to keep it for right now. Um, so yeah. Uh, et is also you know it pays a, a nice dividend that i receive every quarter so that's part of my uh, dividend income actually all of these pay a dividend but main and et are the, are the main producing ones uh, out of this out of this portfolio so uh but yeah man, that's that's it man that's just my update on my robin hood portfolio like i said we was over six thousand at one point um and then we dipped like low 43 4400 but now we've built that back up just by going getting back to the roots of what we do and you know we're seeing that starting to pay off so one is going to get back to the basics build this portfolio up and you know let it grow like it's supposed to grow and then we'll jump back into options because you know options is a major part um of the future of what we're going to do so we just got to learn we got to learn it's like we learned how to build a portfolio we're going to learn how to trade options too so you know that's that's nothing new but yeah that's the update that's the update on the robin hood portfolio man i appreciate you guys tuning in checking in let me know do you guys use robin hood uh are you successful are you a successful option trader you have any tips that you want to leave in the comments i appreciate it um but yeah that's about it man remember to like share subscribe hit the notification bell i really appreciate it uh remember i'm not a financial advisor uh, but remember, you know, if you don't do nothing else, you know, invest in yourself. Very important. I will talk to you guys later.